Hi everyone, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful resort near where we live called Sparkling Hill. Sparkling Hill is located between Vernon and Lake Country, British Columbia. It's perched overlooking Okanagan Lake on one side and the beautiful mountains of the Okanagan on the other. If you're looking to spend some time outdoors at Sparkling Hill, there are plenty of beautiful walking trails to enjoy during your visit. You will find the check-in desks to your left as you enter the lobby. Your car will be parked by the valet, so just leave it at the entrance and hand in your keys as you check in. Valet parking is included in your stay. The foyer is multi-level, which provides you with some amazing views both inside and out. Across from the check-in counters, you will find the entrance to the Kerr Spa. There are also elevators in the hallways near the rooms that will bring you directly inside the spa, so you won't need to walk through the lobby to get there. I didn't include any pictures of the actual pools, saunas, and showers on my video. It's kind of awkward to film those spaces as a guest, but I will include a link in my description for you to check availability, and you'll be able to see the pictures of the pools and spa options available there. Okay, so let's head into our room. We booked a lake view room and we arrived in the evening. This is what we walked into. It was a special occasion stay for us as we were celebrating my birthday. It's so special entering our room with the lights turned down and the beautiful music playing. I'm gonna show you what the room looks like in the daylight though. As you can see, we have a beautiful lake view. It's a king size bed. They provide you with uh, robes and slippers to wear down to the Kerr Spa over your bathing suit. And they also provide you with towels in your room for the spa. So as you can see, there's a desk area with a telephone and a large cabinet beside that you can store your things in. Inside the cabinet, you'll find a safe as well as an ironing board, iron, hair dryer, and a luggage rack. So there's a built-in TV, and as you can see over here, there's actually a really beautiful sitting area to just sit and enjoy your beautiful view. So out the window there, you can see that pebbly stuff. That's actually the rooftop over top of the restaurant. Um, that, that was kind of disappointing to me. The first time we stayed there, we did not have that. And so maybe request to be on one of the upper floors so you don't end up staring at that. So in the room, but also in the bathroom is a beautiful soaker tub. Yeah, seats two people and it's actually part of um, the bathroom and the bedroom. As you see, as I turn around, beautiful crystal display with lighting on it. It's just gorgeous to look at at nighttime. And then right underneath the crystal um, piece there is a fridge which uh, I didn't realize we had until I opened up that, that little cabinet there. So yeah, the rooms all have a fridge in them, which is so awesome. So this is coming in um, from the back of the shower. So the bathroom or the shower area is kind of a walk through. The shower's really nice. And then straight on through the shower, you come to um, some shelving there and then you can see that there's double sinks. Okay, stepping straight through here is the toilet and the toilet's in its own space. So there is privacy in there, but just to make you aware if you're coming with a friend or something, that shower is actually just behind that partition wall. So it's not super private. And I know that lots of girlfriends and, and people like that go have fun with their friends or whatever. So just so you know that that's not really a super private area. So the lighting in this room is super beautiful at nighttime. These little lights light up like stars. Okay, let's have a look at the restaurant. The restaurant is absolutely beautiful and breakfast is included in your stay. So I think they call it like a European style breakfast and it's got everything you can imagine, the usual kind of stuff. Um, they do give you a bill at the end, but that's just for gratuities.
There's a lot of bling at Sparkling Hill. Make sure you walk around in the evening and check it out as it's all lit up. Sparkling Hill offers some great rates throughout the year. One thing we've taken advantage of is the West Coast residence offer. But if you're coming from somewhere else, there are lots of other special deals available. I'll make sure to have a link in my description for you. This area here is where the special events take place. If you're coming for a workshop or a corporate event, this is where it's going to take place. As you can see, there's even an outdoor deck area. Sparkling Hill specializes in wellness packages, corporate retreats, private functions, and exclusive buyouts for large group gatherings and getaways. This is the Austria Ballroom that can hold about 200 people. Barik and Java is a unique space with coffee and pastries by day and in the evening you can enjoy wine and cheese and they offer a daily happy hour. Gernot's is a private dining for up to 30 guests with a farm to table type dining experience. Coming to Sparkling Hill is always a highlight for us. We always leave feeling refreshed and relaxed. This video was not a sponsored video and just made out of the kindness of my heart. I like promoting places we love to visit. Sparkling Hill is a great place for a honeymoon or just to take a break from our crazy lives. Thanks for watching Tina Girl Travels. Remember to hit that thumbs up if my video helps you out today. And please subscribe to my channel for more of Tina Girl Travels. Uh, yeah, yeah.